could be possible that the Sasquatch didn't make mistakes like the human race did and they stay separated from us. Yeah, yeah. I've often wondered about things like that. But I mean, we pollute the world, we wage wars, we kill each other, steal yeah. from each other. <laughs> yeah. So they see this, but their daily activity is, you know, like eating nuts and watching other wildlife. Yeah. It's pretty peaceful, you know what I mean? Yeah. For the most part. For the most part, yeah. They got to kill too, just like sharks, but. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you need to kill. Mm hmm. So, and it's part, of, unfortunately, it's part of the survival on the planet. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Is they're breaking like deer's necks and stuff, but that's what they have to do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, there are some weird, weird arches around here. Yeah, there's a lot too. Mm hmm. Tree marker. Maybe that one just fell and grew back up. It's that next to the road. Pretty weird. Yeah. That's just a weird tree. Uh -huh. It's gonna be uh, uphill all nice. the way. Hills <laughs> don't scare me. The only time they scared me when I was playing football in full pads and they said, run the hill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 110 degrees out. It'd be really cool if we could camp out here. Oh yeah, that would be cool. I'm um, for sure that so we would get some type of activity if we were able to stay I tonight could, here. I could almost guarantee it, just from what I've seen today. Yeah, but there's so many places we could camp on the Merrimack. Yeah. And I don't think they could really tell us where we can and can't camp. Yeah. As long as we're on the riverbank. Yeah. Well, honestly, yeah, to be honest with you, if we're on the riverbank, I'm not sure they can take yeah. Or engineer on that. Yeah. See? Yeah. Laying right there on top of them leaves. Yeah. What about this one? Uh, I mean, it's been moved, but not like that one. Like yeah. this one's like cradled by these leaves. Another one up here, just a small one. Yeah. But yeah, the rock throwing. Yeah. They're definitely doing something with the rocks. Oh, speaking of the rock throwing, there's a, a gal that, another, I told you a lot of people got a hold of me after my encounter. Mm -hmm. And there's a gal down, uh, and I'm friends with her on Facebook. She said, she said she thinks she's throwing rocks at her house, <laughs> which I believe. She said she finds them up on her roof. And she'll, she'll hear, hear it? Yeah, she'll hear <laughs> them throwing them. Pretty big rocks or like yeah, pebbles? Yeah, pretty big. She said by really? the size of baseballs. Huh. Yeah. Wonder what's up with that. I don't know, I've been trying to go out there and <laughs> check out her property, but... I wonder what they want. I don't know. Just trying to get her attention? I guess. She said they just moved in, in there. This was about a year ago. I still talked to her. But she said nothing's happened lately, but when she first moved in, mm -hmm. she said for like the first six months, it happened almost daily. Really? Yeah. she ever experienced anything else, like whistling? Or? She, she said she'd hear them. She said she heard them scream. She said she heard, she heard the rocks. Uh, but that was about it. She said she never did see him, but she uh -huh. was convinced that that's what it was. Yeah. My sister's house, I said, I've got five sisters, by the way. Mm -hmm. And my nephew was telling me he saw, saw a white Sasquatch down by where my grandma used to live. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, she lived off 
Coast Merrimack too in Allen. Yeah. By Pacific. So I didn't really ask him a bunch of questions about it, but I think I wanna ask him some more about that story. Yeah. Yeah, it's worth following up when you when you find things like that. Pretty big tree just be directly right across here. though. You know what I mean? It's not like at an angle not at going an angle. across. Nope. It's always direct. Flea that across. is about as direct as you can get. <laughs> it's old that fell over, but yeah. You know, that's but the thing, Bigfoot's push over trees. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they can. I was just telling you how conservation could have went back there. You know, this would be the road they drive up. But if they're wanting to slow them down, you know, to where they got enough time to book it, yeah, that's that's the point. Because if you got to stop your your four by four or your four wheeler, yeah, cut this. They're they're gonna know you're here. Exactly. But they don't want you sneaking up on them. Exactly. They don't like that. Yeah. Well, this will definitely give you away because you ain't just gonna drive over the top of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And that's directly across. So. Yeah. There's that. That's like. That's so directly across, it couldn't get any more direct. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it was pretty deep in the ground, too. Yeah, it was. Held by rock and yep, dirt. It was. But I mean, anything's possible. <laughs> yeah. Makes you think, but the thing is. This one just clean snapped. What, what the heck twisted this off? Look at that. Oh, there you go. It's old. Yeah, it's old, but dude, that wood is not rotten. No, and it's still. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, and that, I guess when this thing fell, it could have broke it, but it, it don't look like it touched it, no, does it? No, it, it looks like that was just like, I don't know. Yeah. I guess it could have, but you think it would have pulled the whole thing down. Yeah. There's another one over here, but broken one way, and this yep. one snapped the other. I mean, it's hard to say. Pointing at the trail. Yeah. <laughs> right. And people think like when we point out things such as this that, oh, they think everything's Bigfoot. It's like, no, we're looking. Well, we got to assess the situation. Exactly. Well, we don't walk it. out saying, well, that's 100% Bigfoot. Yeah, no. It's no. never like that. It's just like, could it have been, you know? We know they're out here, so we're looking for your sign. Exactly. We know they're out here. I mean, but it's not just that you find one thing. I mean, if that's the only thing we found today, I'd say, well, we didn't really find nothing. No. But when you find a freaking tree that looks like it's been shoved up and turned into the letter T, you find an A that's jabbed into the ground and just really doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. You find a snap across the road, and then you run into that. You add them up, and then you think, well, then there might be something. Yeah. Deer scrape? Looks like, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Or turkey. Could have been turkey. What is it? Said it could have been turkey. Oh, Look, yeah. Looking for bugs. Yeah. yeah. So you can tell where they've, where they're constantly cleaning up trees oh, yeah. that fall from around here. I don't know. It's hard to say. Some nice oak trees in here, though. Yeah. They got it pretty cleaned up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just trying to make better habitat for the white tails and the turkey. Because if you leave all the cedars and stuff, like, yeah. you know, it's not really good for anything. No, it isn't. Sasquatch like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the thing. We we want to get on the other side of the Merrimack. Yeah. We'll go there another day, but. It's like fret or um, old growth. Oh, Big, yeah. giant, tall trees. Yeah. Nothing's ever been cut, and yeah. it's just that's crazy right. wildlife. But yeah. I mean, that's just right across the highway over there. Yeah, it, it, honestly, I think I think their habitat probably is never far from where we are, even if it is across the highway. Let's say we're looking here, to find a sign, but where they actually stay, like you said earlier, might be over there. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I actually seen lightning blow a tree up like this. Really? Yeah, oh, from like nice. probably about I don't know, 80 yards away. Wow. And it, it sounded like a 30 out six oh, going right. off, like right next to your ear. Right. Yeah, it was crazy. Oh, it is. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah, big, big fat hawk. He can hawk. barely lift himself.
himself up. He was like, Ugh. <laughs> too good down here in these woods. Yeah, I happened to turn around. I think this is a scrape. Yeah. Like the deer probably get their horns in there and scrape. Yeah. I happened to see that hawk. I wonder what, what's going on behind us. You know what I mean? Because I just turned around for a split second and saw a big hawk. Yeah, you, you know, know, I've often uh, heard people say that sometimes they'll, they'll do that when they investigate. Mm -hmm. Instead of holding the camera in front. Yeah. They'll go like this, and I've heard that, yeah. that sometimes, and you know, it's all speculation, man, what they really do. But mm -hmm. I think that they probably stalk you through the woods when they know you're there. Yeah. I think they're behind us. If they're with us today, they're mm -hmm. going to be back there. Yeah. You know, on the, on the outskirts so that we can't see them or find them. Right. And, you know, we probably, there's probably times when they get across the freaking road behind us and we don't even know it. Oh, yeah. For sure. There's some pines in there. You kind of just want to go peek in there. We don't really have yeah. to walk through yeah, it. Looks like they start up here. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get in there. But maybe if they are around here. We'll see some of that sign in there. Yeah. You can see it's it's super dark in there. Yeah, for how bright it is outside. Yeah. The whole yeah. woods is here. It's yeah, thick. It's, yeah. So maybe they'd they'd leave some sign in here, just because they'd be spending more time in this exact area. Yeah. I would think. Oh yeah. See, we're already starting to see some stuff. Maybe it's not a real arch, but yeah, I'm seeing an arch. That one here. Yeah. Looks like that tree. Check this one out. Yeah. This looks kind of weird, dude. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's something there. There's nothing on those trees to make them bend like that. Yeah, I've seen that in other areas. Okay, cool. It's like this thin strip of pine that goes in between these oaks. Yeah. That's cool. I'm sure the turkey love it in here too. Oh God, yeah. This is pretty neat. Yeah. It's like we like we just stepped into another world. Yeah. Completely different habitat. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I can see them wanting to hang out here. Yeah. You have that much extra cover from yeah. anything up there. You're right. It's dark. It, it's a lot darker in here. Uh huh. And if they are brown and black, I mean. Yeah. This is where they'd want to be. That one had to yeah, it's right here. Okay. I never really see. I never really see them rub. Yeah. Uh, pine trees. <laughs> I, don't, I see I cedars. Don't I've never seen rub pine trees. Oaks when they're big. big when it's a big deer. There are other like types of trees I see them rub, but I don't know what they are. But yeah, yeah a pine tree is unusual. Yeah, so, yeah. Maybe it's typical for this area, but where I live, yeah. the herd there don't. Yeah. Looks like an old scrape like here. Big freaking tree. Oh yeah, dang. He is rubbing a big old tree. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, looks like he was doing that one last year. Oh wow. So that's an old, that's a year old. So one. he's living in here, huh? Yeah. yeah, it's that same buck. Huh. Very cool. Yeah, he didn't really grow much in size from last year to this year. No, not really. If anything, he went downhill. <laughs> okay, I'm seeing something right here. There's a little break. I don't know if it's anything. Old bottle. So how do you feel, Patrick, about getting back out and looking for sign? Heck yeah, man. I, let's, let's do this again. I want to do this again, buddy. Yeah. This Have you been fun. wanting to get out since you've had your experiences, I've like two dying. different areas, just to find? Yeah. Sound? Well, I'm dying to get out, and I'd really like it. I'm very grateful that you brought me out to some new areas because mm -hmm. I know they're where I'm at, but I I want to know more about where they're at at other places, and I've been dying to get out and check it out, but I didn't really have the knowledge. And what to look for what to do i've not really investigated a whole lot i've just heard so when you offered to bring me out man that was like a dream come true i was mm -hmm. like i wanted to hit these woods and i'm ready to do it again let's find some more <laughs> yeah i'm itching to ask you questions about your encounter or your experience that yeah. night at the merrimack but i want to save that for the interview when okay. we when we go out there and camp 
No, that'd be great. Give us yeah. a campfire to talk around. Yeah. All right. All right. So with the habitat that we have here in Missouri, where do you feel that the Sasquatch would most likely be? I think, honestly, wherever the deepest part of the forests are is where they're going to be. They're always going to be, like you said, they're always going to be around water. They're always mm -hmm. going to be on the waterways, creeks, or springs. Mm -hmm. And I think they do come out closer to where the people are when they need to hunt and stuff. But I think like the deeper woods, like like this would be good habitat. And you said it gets deeper as you go back. That's mm -hmm. probably where they're at. Because, you know, right now, nobody's out here. Mm -hmm. um, summertime, when there are people out here, it's so damn thick, you ain't gonna be able to see. So if there's something out here, you're gonna be able to hide easy if he wants to. Yeah. So, and, and this time of year, they don't have to worry about it as much. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, I think they're out here just, they're in the deep woods, they're running around, along that river. And spots people just don't go to they just avoid us mm -hmm. so. when we go back to the area that you had that experience what do you anticipate happening honestly i it would not surprise me a bit if we get screamed at again mm -hmm. i honestly anticipate the possibility of that happening just because i don't think in that particular area they don't seem scared um like I said, they've come up right up to my sister's house before. Mm -hmm. They came right up to my blind. I don't think they're scared of people out there, so I think there's a real good chance they'll probably try to scare us off. Mm -hmm. So, because where I go out there, not a lot of people go. Mm -hmm. It's just not, a, a, a man owned it for a long time and, and never let anybody on the property. Now he's selling it. Uh, now I can get back on there again. And I think they just stay in that area because nobody's ever there. So, and I think that's where they, gravitate to and stay mm -hmm. you know yeah i agree because a lot of times you hear people say oh you follow the deer you'll find the sasquatch but here in missouri there's deer everywhere exactly but yeah. I, I think you're right about them wanting to be around spring water and fresh water yeah because that's something extremely important to their survival yeah. but here in missouri we got woods everywhere oh yeah you know oh, there's yeah. woods everywhere but sometimes you get inside of a forest and there's not a creek or anything around and it's very pretty dry true. so very true yeah i think that's i think really that's, important that's a very very important fact yeah because i don't think they're going to be animal that large is going to have to have a lot of water intake mm -hmm. i would think so they're going to have to be by water yeah number one you find the water you're going to find the deer anyways yeah so. <laughs> i agree yep deer all, all the animals and i've already seen several out here today us just walking around that that could be a quick meal like that pasta or the uh, Armadillo we seen earlier. Yeah. Been a little, little snack and a half shell for a Bigfoot. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, what do you want to do when when we go out there and camp? What I want to do? Yeah. We'll get out there. We'll set up camp and make some food. Of course, make fire. What else? What do you uh, plan on doing? I I want to I want to go out in the woods and at times I want to just sit and be quiet and just mm -hmm. see what we hear and then at some point i actually i do i want to walk around in the woods maybe walk around quiet maybe try to do a couple knocks and screams mm -hmm. see what happens because they're not afraid to scream out there i've heard them do it yeah. more than once way often and like i said they, they've seemed like they've tried to chase me off on more than one occasion mm -hmm. so i think we're out there making noise and stuff i think we got a good shot of, shot of calling them in i mm -hmm. really do yeah yeah so, i agree i think it'll be a good time and oh yeah definitely if we catch some fish, maybe we can yeah. gift them some fish and yeah. Yeah. hopefully get something. I hope so. Do you think it'd be a bad idea if we set up a bunch of trail cameras? Or do you think it'd be better to let them come in and just have my camera there in case you know we see something? Yeah, I, I, did, the whole trail camera thing, I don't know, they don't ever seem to be caught on them a whole lot. Mm -hmm. I've got some if you want to put some out. I mean, okay. should, it, anything's worth a shot, man. Yeah. Anything's worth a shot. Okay. Well, I'll bring the two that I have that supposedly the infrared is invisible. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll try right. those two. And okay. That way we don't have to do so much you know, work. I, I think it's worth a shot because I, I, I honestly, th there's just so much that happened out there. And I haven't even looked for the stuff you've shown me today out there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's out there. I've probably just never seen it. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm extra excited to go back there because now I want to look and see what I can see from what you taught me today mm -hmm. because I know they're there just yeah. like you know they're here I know they're there yeah so you know if I go to B&H which is like they, they sell cameras and stuff mm -hmm. if I go get a parabolic microphone and attach it to my camera do yeah. you think that'd be pretty cool 
I think that'd be awesome. Okay. I mean, if you're saying that you're hearing vocalizations out there and other people have in the past, oh, yeah. I think it'd be really cool if I got that piece I of think gear. That's your best shot out okay. there. Okay. I so, think vocals are your best shot out there. Yeah. All right. Well, let me know, people, in the comments. Do you think it's a good idea that I purchase a parabolic microphone? I think it is. Yeah. But... We'll have the Zoom audio recorder. We'll run that a good distance away from the well, camp. You know what's really badass about mm -hmm. this cave? is when you're sitting in front of it mm -hmm. you've got a view of everything below you all the way to the river and most of the stuff on the other side of the river you got a pretty damn good view from that cave you see everything mm -hmm. so if you sat up there with that thermal you probably see some stuff just from up there yeah didn't you say on the interview that there was fresh water running out of the cave yeah, yeah that's awesome yeah and okay we won't get too much into your interview but you have the feeling that somehow the sasquatch followed you when you went and investigated that cave? I do. Do you, were you, I mean, you I, don't have to tell anybody where this was, but were you digging around the cave? Oh yeah. Did you do something? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I was digging in the cave. I, I, I used to dig in that cave all the time. I thought I used to find some cool stuff in there. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I, th I think for sure it followed. It just, because I just, I know it's down at that river. Every time I hear it, it's down at the river. When my sister heard it scream, it was down at the river. Mm -hmm. That's where they hang, man. When I heard it that night, it wasn't, I wasn't that far from the river, you know, I was only like a mile, mile and a half away. Yeah. So, you know, uh, but I think it, I, I think it hangs out in that area. I really do. And mm -hmm. I think it followed me back or, or maybe it was just trucking through that night. But I, in my mind, I really think it smelt me and followed my trail mm -hmm. just because it came to me. And then it sounded like when I heard it later, it was going directly back the same direction. You think it's possible he wanted to get in that cave, but he caught your scent and was, wasn't comfortable with hanging out that's around there? I he wanted to see what was there and what's in the area. That's what I wonder. He... I, that's what I wonder. I think it hangs out at that cave or, or moves through that area. Mm -hmm. And I think it caught my scent. Well, if I go out there to Table Rock Lake where you're at, we'll look up some old sighting reports or yeah. fresh ones and we'll go out there well there's both check it out there's both i've heard uh i've heard new ones um that are actually really close right there at the missouri arkansas border but that's right where i'm at mm -hmm. and then there's older ones that have taken a place around the lake but uh big first thing seen out there this is cool what's around table rock lake the mark twain forest mark twain forest yep. okay cool so we'll have a lot of room to oh yeah look there's around <laughs> Do you think this stuff is rugged? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is nothing compared to out there. Okay. Bring your hiking boots when you come out there. Yeah. Starting to get muddy, huh? I'm going to save up for an e-bike. E-bike, yeah. The, uh, who was... We can the, ride all these roads. And... Yeah, that one guy. The, once, uh, See? The guy did Monster X. You know? That's yeah, that's, that's about the right size. And then blocking the road. Yep. Right across the road. Yeah, that guy that do, uh, did Monster X, I forget his name, but he was working on like e-bikes and stuff. And he says he thinks that's how they're going to get caught. Yeah. Because they're silent, you're moving through the woods fast, and they don't expect that. And I think he might be on to something. Mm-hmm. I want to get one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, a side by side's cool, but it's loud. Yeah. If I can get an e-bike that has like a little trailer hitch, yeah. carry my gear. Oh yeah. Go far, and then. Well, get, you get one, I want one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get one too. Yeah. Next time we don't have to walk. Yeah. We'll do the whole park in like an hour. <laughs> this is a field that I hunted last this year. One? Yeah. I haven't had too much luck yeah, out here. You had that, that big boy right back there. Yeah. And you never came to see you out here? I should have went down a little bit further. <laughs> yeah, a Just... little bit, it's not even that far. <laughs> yeah, because it looked like you was there last year too. Yeah. But I was telling uh, this guy, Mike from Understanding, you know, Mike from Understanding Bigfoot. Yeah. Well, dude, we were finding all those rock piles down there in that creek. There's a conservation area. I think he told me about that. Yeah, Piles of rock. yeah, he's yeah. the one that showed showed me all that. Yeah, him and Steve, his research partner. But um, I don't know. Right down the road, there's a big conservation that's attached to the Mark Twain there, and it's yeah. called Rock Pile Mountain. That's really? Oh, 
I asked Mike, I was like, we're finding these rock piles. Why is that conservation park called Rock Pile Mountain? He's like, I don't know. No, <laughs> huh. I wonder, I wonder what that yeah. connection is. And like, the conservation always has strange names for these areas, like yeah. Monkey Mountain, Monkey Ape, Mountain, Ape Canyon, yep. Devil's Backbone. Yep. It's like, where, 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 where do these names come from? Yep. Yeah, Devil's Holler. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Come on, <laughs> there's a connection. <laughs> I think so. I think I think so too. I mean, but know. I mean, they'll say, "Oh, those are names from the natives," but where are the natives going? Yeah, exactly. Well, they had more knowledge of these things than we ever. Yeah, had. I believe that. You know, when it comes to Native Americans, they saw it as a, a creature just like a deer or a, a, a beaver. I mean, mm -hmm. the one, I forget the tribe, but they had it on their spirit chart of regular animals. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah, on the totem pole? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they had uh, the spirit animals. There was 13, was it 13 virtues? Um, I know I'm probably going to screw this up. There was 13, I think it was 13 virtu virtues or nine virtues. Mm -hmm. And then each animal or each virtue was represented by an animal. Like uh, a turtle was patience, mm -hmm. a crow, you know, and the, but Sasquatch was one of them. I think Sasquatch was honesty. Yeah. Their trait was honesty. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but for them to just put it in their teachings, like normal, like everything else, well, it probably was. And it, I'm sure it is normal, mm -hmm. but we just don't know about it, and we've never given it acceptance. So, yeah, so many people out there just want to disbelieve just because they don't want to know. And mm -hmm. uh, well, I want to know. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm not just gonna sit around on the sidelines and wait for somebody else to figure it out. Yeah, that's what I did for a long time, and I got tired of it. And I'm <laughs> yeah. glad you drug me out here. Yeah, I'm glad you came out here. Yeah, you didn't really drag me out here. I've been dying to get out here. Yeah, you were excited. Yeah. <laughs> I was too, but man, yeah. I, I can't believe how far I got put behind on working on that video. That yes, sucks. That sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, I, I like I said earlier, I really enjoyed your video. Like, it took me like four to six hours to finish it, and I just, I don't know, I hit it hard. Yeah. And everything just flowed, but it, it everybody liked it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I it noticed was, it was doing pretty well yeah. on there. And I want to say thank you, Mike, for hooking me up with Patrick. Hey, and thank you, Mike, for hooking me up with him. And thank you, Mike, for taking my story as well. Yeah, yeah. Good guy. Yeah, yeah. You guys check him out. That's Understanding Bigfoot from the Cape Girardeau area yeah. of Missouri. Great show. Yeah. Bill, the property owner, did you hear his interview on Understanding Bigfoot? I don't know if I heard that one. Which one was he? Is, that the guy, is it a guy and his wife? Yeah, a guy and his yeah, wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did. That freaked me out because he was out there camping and these things were just like... Yeah, all around him. Yeah, all yeah. around him. And he had to shoot his 45 yeah. in there a couple times. Yeah. But the part that freaked me out is when he said he heard one of them say, Bill. It I doesn't mean, surprise when, me. If you're camping and it's yeah, completely Yeah, something's out there black, saying your name. Yeah, how would it know your name? What's your theory on that? You think like maybe he was on the phone or somebody heard? Somebody have had to have almost had to have said his name. Yeah. Somebody almost had to have. I don't know how otherwise it could have known his name. Yeah. Unless, see, I'm a flesh and blood believer, but mm -hmm. you know, then the, then you got people like uh, Les Stroud says he heard mine speak. Yeah. I mean, so maybe maybe they have some kind of tele telepathy. I'm not saying mm -hmm. they're supernatural. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they're aliens, but maybe they do have some kind of a mind power. I mean, there's been, I think, in proven cases where they've shown some people actually have powers mm -hmm. of the mind. Yeah. You know, so why why couldn't they? I think I, their minds might be more advanced than ours. Well, they say primates can process information 50 to 80 times faster than a human being. Really? I didn't know so that. So I think the Sasquatch can process information 100 times faster yeah. than us. So they're always a step ahead of us. Yeah. And when they do things, it seems really unusual but i don't know if you've ever been around like a super intelligent dog and it's like how did he know that how does he know that it's, it's almost like he's a little human you know yeah. what i mean and i think the bigfoots they get so smart as they get older and they're just able to predict things or know things that maybe you shouldn't have or maybe they know you better than you know yourself and i, I know that sounds weird but being an animal that lives out there and maybe they live a long time they can sense you kind of like a it dog can be. you know a dog just don't like someone he's gonna bite you yeah and that's not typical for dogs but yeah. you know what i mean if somebody is in the house that he don't like and he feels that's a threat 
you know he's yeah gonna, he's gonna bark at him or yeah. growl but you know and i think the bigfoots kind of have that same ability to where they're able to pick people out i think so mm-hmm. i think so uh i'm hoping maybe that's one of the reasons i didn't get killed that night <laughs> because they mm-hmm. thought i wasn't that bad of a person just yeah. get out of here yeah they had to come in and assess yeah the situation see what you were all about yeah i guess and they say that the sasquatch appreciate people that don't fear him like let's say if you did see him face to face like if you're like oh that thing's hideous yeah oh my god get it away from me they don't like that yeah but you know if you think oh my gosh that's cool when you're coming out there trying to look for him again you know they they know that you appreciate him but they don't like being treated like they're hey I, I, I think <laughs> you're really on to something there because like i said i had my one experience and I, I still went out there. It wasn't to hunt, but I still went out there and investigate the woods and walk the woods. But when I'd go out there, after that experience, there was a lot of times where it just it just really felt like something was watching me. There was times when I'd get ready to leave, mm-hmm. and I'd hear what sounded like a knock. Do I know it's a knock? Nope. Or I'd hear a whoop or something, and mm-hmm. I'd be like, was that a bird or is that just something whooping at me? But it's just some little things you hear. And I'd hear it quite often when I was leaving, but it was after my experience. So I'm thinking maybe I beforehand, I just wasn't in tune. Maybe mm-hmm. it was happening before when I went out there and I just wasn't hearing it or paying attention. But now after I knew they were out there, then I started hearing things and thinking, well, that just didn't sound natural, you know? Mm-hmm. So so I, I, I think, yeah, I think they can sense, you know, uh, our, sometimes our intentions um and i think that might be why some people disappear (laughs) yeah yeah i agree so it very well could be so what do you think about the skeptics that say there's people everywhere you know they say there's there's nowhere that there's not really any anybody at we've walked miles out here dude we didn't see anybody i haven't heard a vehicle i haven't i didn't hear anything here well and, 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 and to be honest with you there's just there's so many areas beyond i mean you think about it you get a section of woods 99 percent of people are only going to go in so far mm-hmm. they ain't i mean in us i'm gonna be honest with you we really didn't even have to go that deep in today mm-hmm. to see stuff yeah so no there's so many areas out there where they just and even if they did want to come in here i think they have the ability to be right there and us not be able to see them yeah have, that, that's the bad part is like they can be right there on you and you wouldn't even know yep. it and I often hear people say, you know, you want to go where sighting reports happen. Well, that's true, but it's not like you're going to find him in there. You yeah. know what I mean? You could be right there mm-hmm. with him and you wouldn't know it. I know. And see, that's how I felt like when I went, used to go out to my old property all the time. It just felt like they were there. And it didn't feel like that all the time. But mm-hmm. a lot of times it did. And it was just, you know, I, I just, I think they're a lot closer to us a lot of the time. More often than we realize mm-hmm. what a lot of people realize yeah when i told her i was coming out with you today she was like oh like i was coming out with a celebrity she was like oh you're going out with him you're going out with miguel are these older sisters yeah they're all older yeah, yeah. i'm the youngest of nine kids okay and they're like a lot older than me. so you're the youngest one huh? I'm way yeah i'm way younger okay, than cool. them. they're all at least 10 years older than me so they all treat me like their little kid uh, their son basically <laughs> so i know i know they're real mm-hmm. and that, that's that's what caused my obsession is because I know they're real and I want more people to know they're real. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if that'll ever happen in my lifetime, but if I can do any little part to help it along or to help one person maybe yeah. get their story out and feel better. I think it'll happen in our lifetime. I hope so. I think it just, for everyone, it feels like something big's coming and they don't know what. Yeah. And I think everything's tied into each other. Yeah. Whether it's directly related or not, and something big's coming. I they agree, just, man. They can't hide it anymore. That's weird that you said that, because I've had that same feeling for like the last few years, like something, something big, or and it's got something to do with all this alien Bigfoot and, and everything else. I think that something big. Yeah. It feels like it. Yeah. The universe talks to us. Yeah. <laughs> it does. So why do you think they sound like a woman screaming? Why not like a why not more like Bobo's call? Like, oh, why is it more like? Yeah, I don't see. I don't know. Is it the females? I've heard. I've I've heard them do the call that sounds like Bobo's. Mm-hmm. I've heard them do the. Yeah, I remember you telling me about that. that. That's exactly what it sounded like. It sounded like the. Oh, it didn't sound high pitched like that, but my sister has heard it 
high pitched. So I don't know if the high pitched scream seems like those happen a lot of time at night. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're part of something to do with a hunt or or an aggressive act or it just tells me that they're irritated for sure. Yeah, and when they scream like that it sounds but it didn't I have not personally heard a scream like that, like the ah! I've heard, you know, several of the sounds, but my sister's one has heard the scream. And I think the one I sent you was more like the Ohio house mm -hmm. uh, yeah. type, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard. That was there. pretty cool. Yeah. We're going to have to put that either in this video yeah. or in the interview that we do at the Merrimack River. But yeah, you sent me over a video of a Bigfoot vocalization. Yeah. Or it was a audio. It was a sound clip. It was yep. a sound clip. Okay, and yeah, I could hear yeah, that in the distance, like. Whoa. Yeah, my sister recorded that on her phone. Yeah. Yeah, and um, the crazy thing is, I had somebody from Missouri send me a video not too long ago. Is that the one you sent me? No, or? this no. this one's new. It's video, but the the thing's screaming, or not not screaming. It's hollering just like that, just like what you described. Yeah. The, the bobo call. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And you can hear it, it's like super far off in the distance. Yeah, and then, and that's what the weird thing is, is because it's no matter how no matter how far it seemed to be, it just seems so freaking loud. Yeah. Like like that night when I heard it the second time and it was further away. Mm -hmm. I know it had to have been a mile away, but it was still so loud it woke me up again. I was sleeping. Yeah. I think you're right about the rocks, and that was my Mike's whole thing about the rock piles yeah. is that they're using the rocks to stun the deer or yeah. kill the deer. Yeah. And you'll see like little piles or you'll see certain rocks kind of like back there. And the thinking is, is when they move into these areas where the deer are at, you know, they got rocks. They got there. the rocks there. Yeah, that or makes... they previously moved them from nights before or yeah. months before. And yeah, that's the thinking is. Wow, that makes total sense. Yeah, you can knock out a deer. And it's, it's like your ammo clip. The pile of rocks is yeah. your ammo clip. Yeah, that's what Mike called it. Mike and Steve, they called it little ammo pile. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't even know that. <laughs> you, you know, you often hear that the Sasquatch like to throw things, whether they're throwing limbs, trees, yep. rocks. Yep. It is a thing. Oh, yeah. Well, they definitely got the strength to do it, so. Yeah. Do you think it'd be a bad idea to run the drone? No, I don't think so. Okay. I think it'd be a good idea because, like, like I said, down where we're going, there's really nothing down there. Old, there's an old, uh, old clubhouse on the river. But other than that, there's no houses or nothing down there. Nobody lives down there. Yeah. Just all woods and river. So you said there's heavy Native American sign in there? Oh, definitely. Big, heavy, heavy. I mean, like, majorly heavy. Yeah. It's crazy how some Sasquatch photos drawn of them with past encounters and they kind of have like a Native American mm -hmm. look to them. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I, that's one thing I like doing is like looking at all the different pictures and stuff of people's renditions of what they saw. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, man, they really look, they look old, very human. Yeah. So. Yeah, they do look very human. Like they look primate, but they look human at the same time. Yeah. Powers on and records automatically. So, so you don't have to push it at all. Oh. It's on. So I'll do the call and then we'll just wait. Try to be dead still. Every time, I think I'd be worried. But the old farmer David on the Current River documentary, yeah, when he took me around on, on his property on the side by side, he Is stopped that, on a road like this. Fields? Yeah, the killing yeah. field. Yeah, yeah, he was showing me that, and he's like, I keep finding these rocks. Yeah, 
and picking them up and throwing them in the back of my side by side. Really? And I, I mean, my first thought was, okay, maybe they use the rocks to like kill deer and stuff. Yeah. But that was about it. It wasn't until I ran into Mike and we went down yeah. to Mark Twain and oh. he showed me yeah. what he was talking about. I'm like, okay, so there is something weird going on. Oh with yeah, the rocks. There's definitely something with the rocks. Yeah. I just don't want one of those thrown in my head. Oh yeah, good find. There we go. Yeah. Like a freaking inch Yeah, that does look like a. Oh my gosh, that is a good one right there. Yeah. So a lot of times I'll just like barely move the leaves. Yeah. Just a little bit. I need that there. But like that. that. And then put your foot up here. Yeah. And the thing about that, it's kind of like that, that yeah. weird side curve uh -huh. to it. It's a little bit lifted right there in the center. And then you can see that definite yeah. heel. Yeah, that's, that's but, the first thing I saw was this. It looked like... Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that could be a trap. I mean... Could be. I mean... What else? Would yeah. It be? I don't know. It just seemed kind of weird because this ground isn't really that god awful soft. Yeah. So, I mean, we're not leaving prints. Yeah. I mean, it's been cold when it freezes yeah. and thaws, and that if there was a Bigfoot and he stepped there, it'd be yeah. a perfect time to make a track in this hard Missouri yeah. dirt, you know. That's the thing about Missouri, there's a lot, it's like rocky soil. I know. It just gets so hard. Yeah, that's that's the bad thing about down there around Table Rock Lake. There's more more rocks than dirt. Yeah. So, uh, the Cape, uh, Cape Fair incident. Uh -huh. That was a school teacher that saw that. Saw a big, a Bigfoot down there when he was uh, fishing. Yeah. And when they came back to investigate, they found the prints. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, I'm dying to take you to that little restaurant. Yeah. They got newspaper clippings of it and Bigfoot casts of the print and all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. I'm excited to check it out and see what we can find and maybe we'll find people that that have had encounters out there and we can just oh, pass it around. We will. Yeah. Get some fresh Missouri stories. It'll take some work, but yeah. I'm well, willing like I to said, do it. That, that, that girl down there I'll talk to, she, I might be able to get her willing to talk. But I have realized it's not easy getting people to talk. <laughs> yeah. These look like they're placed here. I can Yeah, they do. No, no. dude, that's like, that's, that's weird. no frost see, or see anything I mean? under that. Yep. Yeah, see what There's I mean? There's nothing under that. That's not even wet. Yeah. Uh, I just noticed those rocks piled around there which mm -hmm. i'm sure when they cleared this road it's like this thing is recently they put them broke, yeah like something threw it and broke it yeah but if you've been driving this for years you don't want to leave these here you know especially if they're out here doing this much maintenance you know they what i mean do. yeah well i mean there's... when they when they clear the forest anyways that looks like that was that looks fresh yeah I mean, and it looks like it's all smashed off mm -hmm. the same rock yep. like maybe it was a bigger one yeah oh, it's kind of kind of weird It'd just be cool if one just walked oh, right Lord, through you that. ain't kidding, man. I'd be like, dang it, why do I have the GoPro in my yeah. hand? Where's my, where's my cam for so I can zoom in? rock and it goes. <laughs> and see, that's how it works, people. I got yep. the GoPro out. You can't zoom in with the GoPro. Yeah. It's like digital zoom. Yeah. So you, I got to go to this little setting. Oh. It's not like camcorder where you just boom, zoom yeah. in. So if one did walk across there, this would be about the best I'm going to get. Yeah. Yeah, but some people just don't really know what they're getting themselves into. Yeah. No, I got you. You're a hunter, so you know when to be quiet, when it's time to be quiet. I know. The, the day has been hard for me because I just, dude, I'm serious. I'm just, this is like, it was awesome to be out here. Yeah, that's it. I mean, they would have moved this when they made it. You know what I mean? Yep. I guess it rolled down the hill. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess it could have, but I, I don't mean, know, really. It is odd, right? In the yeah, middle. it's odd. A lot of times when the Sasquatch will go to gift you and you got trails like this yeah. that you're walking through the forest that they're in, mm -hmm. they'll leave you little things in the middle of the road, like a, a rabbit with its head missing or maybe a mushroom or maybe they took like an item from someone. Like, Talking about like that squirrel I found that one time? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just like that, the squirrel that was peeled. Yeah, dude, that, that still to this day, I wish I could find that picture. That was the weirdest thing I ever saw. So you found a squirrel that was, that had the hide peeled off like a banana? Yeah. It, I could the way it, the way it looked. I could imagine the head was intact. Uh huh. The fur was still on it, but from the neck down, 
all the skin was peeled completely back all the way to the tail and like folded over the tail the bones were stripped of all the meat and it was laying there just like that right across the trail i walked mm. and there's a trail a lot like this one but like alongside the cliff yeah it was just laying there on the ground no hair no blood mm -hmm. nothing just laying there yeah so it would take hands to do something like that it would have to i would think mm -hmm. i mean because that i i could literally imagine when i saw it something grabbing it by its head just going like this mm -hmm. just peeling the skin down and, and i'll be honest with you it'd take a little bit of strength to do that without cutting it first i would yeah. think yeah i agree TP formation. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh got he's got a little bit of wild turkey in him yep. too. So. Oh, does he? Yeah. He's got a rock here too. He's yeah. getting ready to so he, hide in here and then throw that rock. Yeah, and then drink a little bit of Bud Light. <laughs> Come on, you gotta have fun with it sometimes, right? Yeah. A lot of encounters, people say that the Sasquatch are seen by water, and I think it's like what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. It's just a necessity for oh, yeah. life. They, they, There's water everywhere. Yeah. I mean, you. you I mean, you look at stories and, and encounters, and I would say the majority, the vast majority, are all by water. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I agree. I was just agreeing with you. No, um, this sign right here showing the, the trout species in here, or the rules, anyways. But yeah, this is like a red ribbon trout area. Huh. So, yeah, bring your. Your fly fishing pole. Next time I come yeah. around, I'm not just bring with me. I think me. Uh, trout season starts in March. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, I know they got it shut down out there. Yeah. yeah. That's the bummer about the winter. Yeah. Here in Missouri. You can still catch them, you just can't keep. Them. Really? Yeah. Yeah, out there the Roaring Rivers, which is kind of cool. I wonder, and I need to start asking some people out there because when I went into the uh, the the store there to get my permit and stuff, mm -hmm. and a lot, I picked it up. They had Sasquatch T-shirts that said. Sasquatch stole my lunker and it shows Sasquatch carrying a big old trout. <laughs> so I'm wondering if maybe they have some stories around there why oh, they I'm have sure their t-shirts. I'm sure they do. Yeah. People people say they saw one and yeah. then they make fun of them yep. by making shirts like yep. that. <laughs> the old Merrimack River. Yeah. Where I saw that juvenile at though, it was across the river over there. Oh yeah, over here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That, that would be so cool. Yeah. That's the weird thing is like when you see them, you know, there's nothing special about them really. You know, they just look like a gorilla yeah. living out in the woods. Yeah, but that's would... the weird part is like there's not supposed to be a gorilla yeah. out there. <laughs> yeah. You've seen something that doesn't exist and, and they're not supposed to be where you're at. And it's like, what box do you put it in? Yeah. But yeah, I can... I. I wouldn't know what to think. I can't wait until I find out. But mm -hmm. I got a feeling I hang out with you long enough, we're gonna see some. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Pretty area. Yeah, I love it. I love the old Merrimack. Yeah. Spent most of my childhood on this river. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. When I said, dude, when I said I grew up in that area where I had my encounter, I grew up in it. I, I didn't. It in them woods mm -hmm. seven eight years old you know me and my nephew he, he was six i was eight we was out there with shotguns hunting you know mm -hmm. we'd run around them woods we'd spend weeks on end 
by ourselves down on the cabin, down on the river, you know. Mm -hmm. we, so we knew those woods. We knew everything there. So when something like that happened, it's just like, that ain't supposed to happen. Right. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here. Anymore. Yeah, exactly. There's always something blocking us. Yeah. It's all right, though. But yeah, this is where they're at. They're in here for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure, 100%. And the crazy thing is, they're in here all the way up to St. Louis, and then yeah. they're all over the Missouri River, yeah. so. Yeah. That just means they're everywhere. Yeah, you know what? I had a weird experience on the Missouri River one night. Mm -hmm. um, I was out there. It was dark. Uh, I was hunting in a field arrowhead hunting and it was getting dark and I went ahead and I sat down in my car and I'm on this road and Missouri's in front of me there's a big berm going to it mm -hmm. and I'm just sitting there and then I'm, I think I was messaging people in my truck or my, I was in my car and then all of a sudden the whole car just boom like something hit it and the whole mm -hmm. car freaking moved yeah and I'm like looking around looking around I don't see nothing I get out and I don't see nothing. I don't see no prints on the car. So I have no explanation for what the hell that was, but I'm sitting there, I was not far from the river, but I figured if something would have hit it, I would have seen it, but it was jet black out. The whole car mm. freaking shook, scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's unusual. But things like that, at the time, you don't really think about it, but you know, later on in life, when you start hearing more of this stuff, it makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll show you a few things. Oh, yeah. I don't know how much we'll find. A lot of the structures are starting to fall and crumble, but there there is sign in there for sure. Oh yeah, there's definitely definitely. You show me a lot. Yeah. I can't wait to see you. Yeah, absolutely. I think it'd be cool if we did pretty much what we did today. Yeah. But we had like a tent and yeah. we can come out here and fish. Yeah. And actually catch something, have yeah. food, and just you know have a spot to sit yeah. and relax. After I had my encounter, yeah. I saw this. I was like, man, that's odd. It's pushed over and it's flat. Yeah. But when I found it, it was aiming towards the house. Really? I come out here like a month later, it's like cold. And it's on the other side of the tree. So basically it was flat aiming that way. Now it's like something. I see it. Hit. Yeah. I put it on that side, but if you come yep. out here and film like you can tell it wasn't grown that way. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Something bent that and put yeah. that there. Mm -hmm. I can barely. Yeah. <laughs> I can barely pull on it myself right now. Yeah. So that's one of the weird things I found out here. And that is it, weird. You notice it, like I said, it's pointing towards the house. Now it's pointing towards that other house. Yeah. So it's like they aim it towards things, even with the arches, like they're pointing towards something. Yeah. But yeah, you'll notice out here we're gonna find a lot of these. Yeah. They'll flatten the cedars. Well, I'm just happy to be part of it. Yeah. Well. You're pretty cool, so I wanted to bring you out here where I had my encounters. And oh yeah, that's I love that. I love that. I, lo I like being able to stand where you stood and where you saw something. Mm -hmm. Makes your hair stand up on your neck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> here, here's another weird find. Check this out. <clears throat> oh wow, something dug a big old hole in there. All right, so that tree, see how it's wedged up in there? Yeah. In between there? Yeah. Kind of rock it back and forth. I grab it. It used to be real solid. It's been there a while. Yeah, but it's got some pressure right here. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, it seems. Like yeah, it doesn't seem like something fell, or that it doesn't no, seem like that fell. You know what I mean? No, it doesn't because it's like you said, it's like wedged in there. Mm -hmm. And when I found it, it was still real green, so yeah. it was solid. I mean, solid, like tight. Yeah. Like woven in there. So. Well, I, you can tell it's been, it's been there a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got that rubbed raw. Yeah, and it's pointing directly towards the creek. And this is a trail, like, it's pointing, like, east and west. Yeah. And that's, like, the way the deer goes, east and west. But everything, same with the Sasquatch. Yeah. They're just wanting to cross the road and get through this funnel point point from large forest to large forest, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah, and they get, they hit mm -hmm. points and Yep, stuff. they got to go around houses and stuff. Yeah. So, basically, this is, like, where I have sat at for years. Yeah. Every day for yeah. years. And this is like where I have encounters or experiences like I hear the wood knocking yes. and where I get a lot of my information from. 
basically. That's crazy. This is where the magic happens. Well, you know what? I, I, it's not crazy because, I mean, look at this. This is perfect. Mm -hmm. and, and like right on the edge of civilization where you can still observe things and at your back you got endless woods and water. Mm -hmm. so where we just came from. Where we just came from, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably like 20 minutes away, I would say. Yeah, it wasn't, that wasn't far at all. I mean, I, I remember sitting there holding my breath, thinking if I breathe, it's gonna hear me. That's how close it felt. It felt like it was right, I mean, literally right behind me, breathing down my neck. And so after I started realizing that I, I was just scared shitless, <laughs> I, was, I was sitting there and I, I started praying to God. I was like, God, hey, I started saying Hail Marys. When I told you I was praying to God, I was literally praying. I was saying Hail Mary, full of grace, in my head mm -hmm. as I was sitting there concentrating on not breathing. Now, if that ain't fear, I don't know what is. And Sasquatch is out here. It's real. It's freaking real. Yeah. And I'm glad you made it out okay because that could have turned out. A lot different. Oh, dude, could have yeah. been like old Patrick was never found. Yeah, again, uh, yeah, I could, I could have been like the, the the lady that disappeared out there that I told you about. Mm -hmm. That is weird that the lady went disappearing in yeah. the same area. Yeah, that you had that experience. Same, same. I forgot, and I forgot to even mention that any other time before. I just was reminded about it when I was talking to my sister the other day, and she was like, "Oh yeah," and then they found those ladies' remains back there. I'm like, "That's right," because. It was right about the same time I had my experience. I remember she was like, you can't be going out in the woods right now on the property because they're doing a search because they found human remains back there. Oh, wow. Yeah, and the, the whole area, because they were coming to her house and questioning them and everything because it was found like really close to their property. Mm -hmm. I think it might have even been on their property, but I don't know that it was. But nothing was ever found of it. It was just some lady that disappeared from a house. They said there was no foul play. They think she wandered into the woods and died. Mm -hmm. So that was basically their their final summation as she went out and froze to death, which she was only like a, a, a mile away from her house. So how she got lost in her own woods and just died for no reason, you know, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Where we just came from. Yeah. You think well, that? No, I don't know if it's the same group. Yeah. I think they came from that area. Yeah. Just because the forest gets so much bigger out that way. And the further you go, it goes down to an area called Riverside. Yeah. And it's the Merrimack. Yeah. But I mean, once you go across the river, it's like there's deeper woods. I got gotcha. you. Know I mean? So you think they're coming from that area, and just because this is as close to civilization as they can get, yeah, that yeah, they have that curiosity, but at the same time, I think. The males like to migrate and the females just stay in place all year round, but the females try to find an area where they can raise their little ones. Yeah. And I think it's safer if they can find a good family or a good property yeah. that they can trust. They know they're not going to get shot and they'll hang out in there. Or if there's a good state forest, you know, the mother will get in there and raise the juveniles yeah. while the male goes off and hunts. And that's often why I think you hear reports of you see a big male and he's got a deer under yeah. his arm. Yeah. They're obviously taking it somewhere. Yeah. You know, I think they're the hunters and they're always out and about. I think that's why people when they go to the deep areas, they run into those males, you know, and they're more aggressive. But around here, you know, you get that playful interaction, like something's playing, you know, yeah. you hear the knocks and stuff and find little gifts and I think it's possibly the little ones being trained to observe people. And like I said, they want to find someone that's safe, a property that's safe, just to train the little ones until yeah. they're big enough to do whatever they well, want. Well, it makes sense. Yeah, and you'll never see a little one. They're so fast. But yeah. still, their their brain isn't where the mature ones are. Mm -hmm. The mature ones, they take no shit. And the little ones, they're more to get hit by a car. Yeah, and, still know, learning. Yeah, they're still learning. Or, you know, get killed by a hunter. Yeah. But they're just as fast and just as, I don't know, agile as the big ones. They're just... Their maturity levels there. I so got you. Okay, so that's like where the whistle incident happened. It was right up there. I won't take you guys over there because. But it came it. from that direction. Yeah. Well, I was standing there. Yeah. I just checked the trail camera, and then I heard a whistle, and it was right here. Was where I heard the first whistle around mm -hmm. that bend. Just a real loud. I was looking that way. I thought, man, that's odd. And then about two seconds later, right in front of me and then two seconds later to the right.
and that's before the encounters happen. So that's I was crazy. Like, Something's going on. Yep. And that's what triggered. Yep. You know, and then I started hearing whoops, knocks, not on the same day, just throughout the time until that experience. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> Oh, is that one down yeah, there? He wants to go squashing with me everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, cat. He's just looking for food. He showed up one day. I just started feeding him. Well, oh. I don't have the heart to quit feeding him. Dude, yeah, I hear you. Hey, maybe that's why the Sasquatch are raising their young around here, because they know you got a good heart. Well, they yeah, but they hunt. They understand. They hunt. Yeah, it's you're not killing the deer just to for a trophy. You're you're eating it. That's another wild story. I was hunting down there one day. Yeah. And it snowed. It was like 20 degrees that morning, and I had shot this little buck. Yeah. And I know I had shot him because I had to take another shot on him because he was limping from the first one. But anyways, when I went to go track him there were little human tracks in the snow i mean like a like a female yeah and basically i followed the tracks and the little droplets of blood that i could find finally down there at the creek bottom i find where the steer was laying at because i could see that the snow was melted mm -hmm. and that's where the tracks went and ended but there was no deer no tracks from like a deer or little girl really? tracks. Yeah. no blood yeah it was just gone wow yeah and i know i put the hammer down on that yeah yeah because the first one about had him so i was like oh i don't want to oh, suffer I... you know i better take the second hey you know? every every hunter out there knows you they they know you know what you're talking about <laughs> so yeah. that's pretty freaking weird well i i mean so real likely uh the, the you still you think what the, the little one was involved and then a, a mom or something grabbed the kill or I, I mean, it was a little, Actually. it was a little buck. I mean, I oh. could have lifted this deer up and threw it. Oh man, so, so I, mean, I got gotcha. you. Even if you're a little Sasquatch, yeah, you know, you're well, still yeah. solid muscle. Well, hell yeah, they're probably stronger than we are. <laughs> the babies are probably. Yeah. But my thought was, you know, what is a little kid doing out here without any shoes? Well, yeah. At 7 a.m. in the morning during rifle season, and it's below 30 degrees. Yep. You know that. That's the part that got me. I had a basket on that stump right there, and I'd just be gifting all summer long. Yeah. And I'd put peanut butter jars in there, apples, suckers, and I wasn't sure where they were taking the peanut butter jars, where they were going. I told you I found the lids there yeah, that you one said time. Stacked? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I kept, I kept gifting, you know. Yeah. And it's like, where are they taking these things? Well, it wasn't until I was deer hunting, 40 yards away, yeah. right over here, with two lids sit, or two jars sitting right next to each other. <clears throat> and the lids, yeah, the lids on them. Yeah. So this one was like ripped out yeah. from the bottom. Which could have been a small critter. Could have been. But that one was like slashed. Yeah, it was. You know, that like a finger. You know yeah. what I mean? What it looks like. Mm -hmm. But why, why would an animal bring them both to the same exact spot right that here? Is weird. Like almost like you know it's watching. That is weird, mm -hmm. man. But what was weird was the first time I put them out at like eight o'clock at night. It was the summer, so it gets dark dang near by nine. Yeah. And then I came back as soon as the sun came up at yep. six in the morning yep. or whatever, and just the lids were sitting there, and the and the yeah. jars were gone. The peanut yeah, butter. That, and the, that I remember you telling yeah. me about that. And that's odd because that I, is odd. I put those lids on there extremely tight. Yeah. And it had only been one night. Yeah. And it was the first time I did them. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's cool crazy though. first time results. Yeah, you know, well, to I come mean, back in the morning to see two lids sitting there. Because, like I said, if it was a small critter, we tore it up. And one would have been over there, another one oh, yeah. over there, not both sitting right next to each other. Yeah. And the jar's gone. Yeah. So. Well, I don't even think. You know these things would be sitting here next to each other for a critter. Why would it, yeah, yeah, like that's, you said, that's why would it bring them back to the same mm -hmm. spot? Like I said, I've seen the juvenile in here, so it's probably him. But I can't say for sure. And you'll know. 
road, it's like, yeah, we're close to town, but the deeper you get in the woods, all of a sudden, all the noise disappears. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like you're immersed by nature once again, even yeah. though you're close to society. Then, then you're in their territory because yeah. they're going to hear you coming a mile away. Yeah, basically. Watch your step on this drainage. But this drainage ditch right here yeah. goes down to this big creek bottom. Mm -hmm. And they had this giant structure here. I mean, it was giant, but now it's falling apart. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I have footage of when it was pretty solid. <clears throat> See, it's all falling apart now, but this yeah. was like, I mean, you could, I would grab this right here and shake it and it, yeah. it wouldn't move. Oh, I believe you and did. And I, I got video footage of it and it's I, on my, it's on one of my YouTube videos. I believe you, everything I've seen today that we saw before that was fresh. Mm -hmm. it was all solid I, I believe you but i mean yeah that tree could have fell but you got one arch another big broken tree you know yeah huge bend right there that tree and i don't know it's just to me it looks I unusual i think it, you know i don't think it would have bent it like that no unless something i think a fresh tree like this and another fresh tree like that would have had enough i don't know it would have been strong enough to hold that. Yeah. No, I got to where it. this tree would have been hung up, yeah. not just smashed. But I mean, who knows? Who knows? Over there, right up there is where yeah. I had that crazy reading. Oh yeah. Okay. In the past, when I said it, it shot up all the way. spiked a little bit. Oh shoot, it started doing something there before I moved. Yeah, yeah it spiked up for a minute. Oh. They're old now though, so. Yeah. Shouldn't expect too much. That is weird, huh? Yeah, it is. It's definitely, yeah, it's spiking. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it jumps up right here. Yeah. Wow. That was really back jumping. Off. Back off. See? Yeah. And I'm closer to the GoPro. Yeah. Now let's go to this arch. There, yep. Yep. That's weird. That's weird, yeah. It just. 870? Mm -hmm. Seems like it jumps the most when you... In that arch? Yeah, like in this area. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. That's weird. I wonder what causes that. Huh. Well, let's walk around. Nothing now. Yeah, now, now it's dropped. Yeah. Yeah, I get away from the structure. Oh. And, and I'm even close. That's radiation. Is that what that is? Yeah. The other one was mag standard. Mag so does that mean I'm going to grow an extra uh, leg now? Maybe your grandchild. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot, and I might be just talking out my butt right now. Uh -huh. But <laughs> I think I remember hearing something about uh, correlation between Bigfoot and radiation before. Yeah. I don't know I've, heard, I've heard, heard people say it, but I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm taking you to the spot where this thing went all the way up. Really? And stayed there. Okay, and when cool. I back away and go down, I go to that spot. Really? Yeah. yeah. I remember you telling me about that. Right here. 
here. Yeah. Wow. This spot. I don't know why. Wow. Yeah. Oh. And nowhere else does it do this. No. There's like little tree leaners. Yeah. Oh, just a little structure. I don't know. Or that many fell right in between the tree. I don't know. Yeah, that's really odd, man. Yeah, it goes off the freaking charts. Wow. This, and, and it did that before too, and it's still doing it. Yeah, but the crazy thing is, is when I'm sitting up there in the chair, yeah. this is where I'm hearing all the knocking and all the crazy really? sounds and the trees getting pushed over. And not just like here and there, like constantly. Yeah. All right. So I put it on RF, which is the radiation frequency, I believe. I could be wrong, but anyways, watch what happens when I get close to this. These little tree leaners. I don't know if that's normal, but I'm getting a spike. Now watch this. Doesn't surprise me, man. Mm -hmm. See, it's a trail. See that big rub right there? Oh, yep. It's a, it's a good spot for... Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a... Well, the deer's not radioactive. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> but, yeah. This, this area, for some reason. And this is where I hear, like, thumps. Yeah. Hear trees crashing down when there's no wind, like right now. Yeah. And just a D lot of the weird activities right here. Stuff that makes no sense unless you think about it with a different frame of mind. related or, or interdimensional or some something I mean I know one thing they're out here in the woods <laughs> yeah well that's for sure yeah they flatten one out right there you can see where it's lifted up the dirt yeah But and cedars aren't hard to maneuver. I mean, are not easy to maneuver. Yeah. That's weird. I can't say that's something I've never seen before. Cedar flat. Yeah. That one's weird. I don't know. That's Sasquatch, but it's bent weird. Definitely odd. Mm hmm. But this is like this, oh, another peanut butter jar. This is the same way the deer go, like when oh, they're yeah, traveling. Yeah. Okay. So you can see that I've been giving them peanut butter. I don't know what got that though. That looks like a critter. Yeah. That, that does. Might have been a squirrel. I like seeing the lid twisting though. Yeah. That's what's cool. Okay. Come and go. 
You think they just come and go? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. But in the summer, they're here a lot longer. I think, you know what, I think you're right too. Mm-hmm. I think you're right about that too. I think that's true about the entire Merrimack in this area. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. See, that one's pushed over too. Yeah, I've already showed you about two or three just right over there. Yeah. But like right here behind us, there's another one. They all seem to be in a line. Little, yeah, pointing. Going to, or to the creek bottom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That one's pointing towards the house. That's crazy. And it, Never. And it almost looks like. Maybe they've been using this path for generations or something. Mm-hmm. And I never find anything on top of the cedars, like something fell on top of it. Yeah. They're always like... Clear? Pushed down. Yeah. Flattened. Is that stuck in the ground? Yeah? Yep, there it is. Huh. Next to and, the And, uh, it's jammed in there pretty damn hard. Yeah. Cool. That ground's frozen. <laughs> but yeah, that creek bottom, they love to push trees down in. Like, it's not just like you heard one and oh, it's Bigfoot. It's like you heard like two or three within the last hour. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's absolutely no wind, no nothing going on. Mm hmm. See, there's another deer rub right there. Yeah. An old one. So, I mean, they are on like the major trails, I think, you know, if a deer wants to yeah. use it, obviously they want to stay in the same cover. Okay, I'll take you to the juveniles area okay. if you want to see. Yeah, let's right. check it out. Oh my God, my heart's freaking racing. What was it? It looked like a head. And it just, I mean, as quick as a blink of an eye, just whoop, went that way. Really? And I bet, yes, I am not even joking, dude. That's normally where things I, go. Okay, hold on. I want to get a, I want to get a visual of where it was so we can get a height. What it looked like? Where was I? I was right about here. Okay, I, I saw it. See, see that that tree right there, just beyond that. I seen it go from there to to this way. And I know we should probably try and chase it down, but we'd never catch it, I don't no. think. What was it? Uh, what would it look like, though? It looked like dark charcoal gray, oh, and yeah. it looked looked like a hairy head. I'm not even joking. Well, I've man. seen a gray one. It, it, I, it looked like a hairy head, but it did look like I saw it from here up. And it just went from behind that tree and then darted behind this hill. Huh, that is strange. Uh, so I want to get, kind of walk straight forward and see about what it is. The head is what it is. for sure but I know we were standing right there and I just saw it through here took off this way and I didn't hear a thing I only saw it so I'm hearing something though hang on don't make all of a sudden there's a lot of gunshots yeah that is strange I wonder who's shooting what do you think you saw I don't know it looked I'll be honest with you it looked like hair it looked like hair it looked like dark gray hair and a head about the size of I don't know small a little smaller than a basketball mm -hmm. and it just looked like it darted from behind this tree that there's a bunch of woods this way and we were standing over there coming through that valley and it was something I just happened to be looking in that direction just in the direction where we're standing right now and something went from that tree to behind that hill and, and gone and like 
quicker than I can even explain. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like quicker than I could even move my hand right now to try and show you. And it looked like hair moved when it went. So I only saw it for a split second, so I really don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of big things like to get in those cedars. Yeah. There's a lot of clear water down in there. Yeah. And this just a good, good habitat for things. Yeah, but this is where I'd we're seen him. I, I was literally telling Patrick about where I'd just seen these yeah. things, and yeah. he well, stops me, and tells yeah. me I saw something. I just, this is just, dude. I'm just, I'm mind blown right now because I was just thinking we we're walking down that hill. I was like, man, that'd be a perfect area for a Sasquatch to just hang out and, and be in cover. And I just happened to, I was panning along, and I just, whoop, and then I saw it. And mm -hmm. it was just like, my heart was going to pound out of my chest there for a minute, I thought. <laughs> yeah. But. No, this would be the spot to have an encounter. Yeah, I think, uh. Except for these goons shooting over here. But yeah, as that was happening, I could hear knocking over here. Yeah, yeah. And I mean. And then it was right after that. Yeah. I, I heard it too. Yeah. Heard knocking from over here. Oh, well, that's awesome. And all of a sudden, the birds just lit up. Yeah. Did you notice that, too? Yeah. There was no birds going yeah. off, and yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, now they're going off. Yeah, and the GoPro died. As soon as everything happens, the GoPro dies every really? time. Everywhere I go, man, that is, <laughs> that is something else. What do they call that? Murphy's, the Murphy Squatch Law? <laughs> wow, dude, that, uh, that was that was kind of freaky. I, I, I really think I saw something. Just yeah. a minute ago, I really do. I think you saw the big. So awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, he just described one of the figures that I'd seen before, and I never described it to him. Yeah, no, no, yeah, he never did. And then I said, well, because <laughs> I said the head was about like the size of a basketball, and I even said basketball because it seemed really round, just really round, and. The, the, the gray was not so much of a charcoal gray as it was like the color of these trees around us, mm -hmm. a lighter gray. And Miguel just told me that it, as, as he described what he saw, he said, yeah, the, the big male I saw was, was had, had a big round head. And I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah, round head. That's exactly what I saw. I'm like, because that's why I said basketball. Mm -hmm. and, and so he, he didn't put the words in my mouth, but the thoughts were in my head. And when he said it, I'm like, yeah. And then it clicked. And I'm like, you know, and then I'm like, it, and it was really more like that, that color gray. And he's like, yeah, yeah, that's that. So it was just, mm -hmm. it was kind of a cool moment. We, we And that's we, the exact area that I seen him. Like not the area, but the exact spot pretty much. Yeah. I mean, he was up the hill a little bit walking towards the yard in yeah. the wood line when I hit him with the spotlight. Yeah. But yeah that's crazy man i didn't look because you know when i'm filming i'm focusing on my stuff i don't want to lose my gear i'm trying to watch my step i'm yep. trying to pay attention to what you're doing yeah you know so I don't oh yeah dude, dude yeah yeah so a couple times you've handed me the camera to hell this like <laughs> how in the hell does he do this yeah. <laughs> make it look yeah. so good but when i'm out here all the time by myself yeah i don't even bring a camera anymore because i got my cell phone you know what i mean yeah. that's enough if, yeah. you know that's that's all you need yeah to but i mean i just gotta hope that i see one when i got all this gear yeah We'd be good but, to go. You know what? Oh my goodness! I wish I'd have had a GoPro on, uh, pointing where I was yeah. looking today, man. I think well, I, I looked and I got a feeling. I was like, man, that's a good spot for something to be. When you, when you said you saw something, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. That's where I see all the big deer at. The biggest deer come out of there. Yeah. Well, I can guarantee you, whatever that was, it wasn't. It wasn't a deer. It. It. And it, it, it looked it, like it had like not fur but hair. Uh huh. And it seemed like it was going back into that thick stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. It was getting the hell out of here <laughs> quick. And this camera has really good zoom, so if I saw a Bigfoot, I could zoom in and get a good view of him. But yeah, it's really thick back in there. I'm zoomed in right now. Oh yeah. Dude, it could be it could be looking at us right over there right now, you'd never see it. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> honestly, the the color it was, I'm surprised I even saw it. It blended so good into the freaking background. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like these people shooting. Yeah, a lot of gunshots out here. Yeah. He used to be peaceful out here, and then, like I, I told you, those people up the road yeah. started moving in. Just yeah. <laughs> really disturbed the area. Oh, well. 
when I was a kid living out here, there was nobody that lived around. Oh man, I yeah, bet. Oh, it was awesome. You get carried off. Yeah, my dad claims he saw a black cat out here. I believe you. More that way, but yeah, I believe you. Still, my brother don't even believe him on that. So. Oh really? Yeah, he don't believe my Sasquatch stuff. Yeah. So that's cool. I my dad don't you. believe me either. I believe I believed it before I even met you, but now I believe it even more after what I saw today. <laughs> yeah, and I've shown you little signs like. Yeah, no, you. Oh. you Shoot, where were we? Oh, when you when you said that earlier, we were right there on the other side of that hill. Oh yeah, you were getting really shown me something. But if you can see right there, oh, right yeah. right before you saw whatever you saw, there's yeah. a flattened seed. So basically, I just had the GoPro die as you were trying to explain to me what you saw. So I was like, okay, no big deal. I got this camcorder, the one that you're holding right now. Yep. And that has a big battery on it. It lasts about three and a half to four hours, and it died. So I was like, okay. Threw in another battery. Threw in another battery, and that that one's dead. Yeah. And then, all right, I got one last battery. Third one for the camcorder. And that one's got, what, 18 minutes? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's probably got less now. Yeah. So it seems like every battery was drained, and I charge my batteries every time. You know, when I'm done with the project, I go through and charge each battery. Put it back in my bag, that way I know you know they're all ready to go and I do that with each camera yeah but I mean you said that was going on or you said you saw that we, yeah we had that weird reading up there yep right before that we were hearing the knocks happening yep after you saw that yep batteries died batteries Every are all battery dying GoPro three different camcorder batteries so there's definitely something odd going on I don't know it's unusual mm -hmm. I don't know I figured it's worth noting because other people say yeah. it. I'm not saying, oh, Bigfoot just drained our battery. Yeah. But I don't know. That was a weird moment. Felt like it was very weird. Felt like chaos. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there was a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, when it blew my mind when you said started talking about the head because I can still see I can still see what I saw in my my mind right now when I close my eyes mm -hmm. as it's moving away. And when you said started talking about the one you saw and how its head was big and perfectly round, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's why I said basketball. Mm -hmm. Because that's what it, it reminded me of, a damn basketball covered in hair. Like, and somebody just took it and went, like, as fast as you can, you, you can move. Yeah, and, and, and the they, gray one that I saw, like, he ain't, ma he's not massive, but he's probably about six foot. He's pretty stocky, but he's not, like, bulging. And I'm but telling But his head you, looks like it's connected to, like, the shoulders, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, And it's a real round head. Yeah, Is that I didn't kind see of below, oh, okay. but the, the, the head, I saw the head. I saw the, the, the whole head. I just didn't see the face, the side profile, hair moving, but... For when when we stopped over there and mm -hmm. I gauged the distance and we got over here, that's what I figured it would have been about. About my height, maybe about six foot. Mm -hmm. So, pretty... pretty.